Hi guys, Shani here. So uh, this is a follow through video from the one that I made last time uh, in respect whether the Honda Econ button actually works or not. So I've successfully um, uh, made three fields actually. Uh, if you can see, uh, this is the first, second and the third. So the field grade is RON 95 and I pump it with shell. Uh, so same station, same field. Uh, just to maintain some consistency and I've actually used the onboard monitor uh, to monitor the uh, fuel consumption just to get uh, you know uh, rather more reliable I'm not sure but it's about there so as you can see I mean just forget about this because it's the mileage that how much I've run down the car okay if you can see this 9.3 kilometer this actually uh, I've driven uh, the car with the econ button on uh, with you can see this green color light here and uh, it yielded 9.3 km per litre and uh, this 9.4 here is actually driven with the uh, this green colour light off so and uh, the third one is just for fun because actually I wanted to see uh, to mix a bit meaning to say if I'm on a CD driving I'll turn it off and on highway drive I'll turn it off uh, but I mean with actually on these two drives it's the same because alternating between these two fuel full tanks uh, my drive is pretty much the same intercity drive to work back home this and that but uh, actually when I try to dip this uh, it's inconsistent because why does it actually achieve this such a high figure compared to these two is because I actually made two trips to uh, the international airport of Kuala Lumpur so that's a very long stretch of highway and evidently if you're cruising in a highway at a constant speed you definitely yield higher uh, mileage per litre so I think this uh, you can omit this uh, because this is a fail but the most importantly is between these two 9.3 for the econ button on 9.4 for the econ button off so why does with the econ button off uh, you actually yield more uh, my theory is this because like I said the econ button actually uh, makes your car feel sluggish and uh, you know it slows down it makes driving unattractive uninteresting and slow response and maybe because of that uh, it is the human instinct to actually floor the accelerator for much more to get that you know that that power so I guess because of that uh, human overcompensating the sluggish performance of the car because the what of what the effect of the econ button which is why it yielded actually uh, one kilometer less 0 0.1 kilometer less I'm sorry uh, but uh, 0 0.1 I think is negligible it really doesn't make any difference uh, the surprising thing is uh, even with the econ button off uh, you can see it's actually 9.4 uh, you know 9.4 and I realized actually with the econ button off, it doesn't really give you much more power but it makes your car feel more alive, a bit more agile, a bit more responsive and it actually makes driving a, such a big sedan a little bit more interesting to drive and it really, you know, it really changes the way how the car drives and it changes. Uh, honestly, uh, if you don't really focus on the minute things, you wouldn't really feel the difference but if you really, uh, you are very picky and uh, you know, very meticulous you actually realize that driving with the econ button off is actually much more interesting and uh, that's supposed it's supposed to drive like that right so uh, just based on uh, what I've done you know uh, my daily this is my daily driver and uh, this is what I've done, been doing you know normal things uh, basically a normal a normal driver would do with his car uh, it seems that uh, with the econ button on it doesn't really affect much of the fuel consumption but uh, it does make your drive boring so to me uh, after this test I think the econ button doesn't really work it, it only works if uh, you are really you know you're really living by the rules you know you're not flooring it you're just letting the car doing its thing uh, basically you're gonna be a very dead person driving a very boring car but that's not how cars are supposed to be driven uh, to me I'll to me, the way to drive the Accord or any Honda for that matter is with the Econ button off. And maybe it does make do the environment a little bit better because of emission things because probably the Econ button uh, contributes to better emission you know, ratings. I don't know. But as far as driving is concerned, driving with the Econ button off is the way to do. So I hereby officially deactivate things. This green color button here 
and I will be driving it like that from today onwards and I hereby certify to me the econ button of the Honda does not work in terms of fuel saving but a caveat is that maybe it does help in terms of uh, carbon emission or whatnot I hope this uh, video is um, you know answer some of your question whether or not this actually this econ button actually works or not uh, it may not be conclusive you know this is just a, a brief video of what I've been doing uh, you know as a normal driver driving in normal condition um, nah it doesn't work so I hereby survive for me uh, this is with the econ button on it's not the way to drive for me it's always with the econ button off and if you really want to to me if you really want to save the environment uh, you're better off buying a hybrid uh, or some you know pure electric car not a naturally aspirated engine thanks for watching